Pesticide and Pest Control to help us out this morning. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. All right. So we've got it's warmer weather. So what kinds of bugs are you starting to see creep into these homes? Well, uh, they're starting. To, there's uh, the Oriental cockroaches, that those big ones that you see crawling around on the outside. Of course, ants and spiders, yeah. uh, mosquitoes, bees, the, the the spring and summertime bugs. Yeah. Why? Why do they want to come in the house? They, I feel I feel like they should want to be outside. They want what to is be it free? Well, yeah. What is it about <laughs> our homes that make them want to come inside? Well. Uh, they're going to come inside if you don't have anything on the outside to prevent them. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Is it helpful as a homeowner if we know what the bug is to let you know what has been coming inside? For example, I had to do a reverse image search to find out this weird bug, which is called a house centipede, that started coming in our home when the weather got better. Does it help you to know what it is so that you can attack the specific problem? Yes, yes. Uh, identification is key. We okay. need to know what kind of bug it is so we can know how to treat for it. Okay. All right. So you treat for things like, like you mentioned, like bugs, creepy crawly things. Um, how about things like snakes? Uh, those I know kind of like to come in and hide in your garage. Is there anything that can keep that kind of uh, pest out of our house? Well, uh, you're in the city. You won't get snakes that much. I mean, in, in the in the rural areas in the country, you'll probably get some. But um, uh, we just try to put down some uh, glue traps, and and they get okay. stuck on them, Wait. and we oh. just take them away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are some uh, tips that you have for us to keep these pests out as much as they want to come in? Well, you want to make sure that uh, uh, your windows are sealed. Uh, you have good seal on your doors, uh, weather stripping, um, and uh, just uh, keeping a lot of the uh, shrubs and bushes off the house itself because mm -hmm. a lot of yeah. the bugs live inside of, oh, they live in the bushes. Okay. And if they're, if they're uh, uh, touching the house, they will, they'll eventually get in the house. Oh, okay. All right. Now, you guys offer free estimates, right? If you if a person calls and just wants to get an idea of how much it's going to cost? Yes, it, it pretty much. I mean, it depends on the 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 size of the house. If it's a pretty big house, then we may want to come take a look at it and and before we can give you a, a, an accurate uh, estimate on okay. it. But for the most part, yeah, we can do that over the phone. And people want to uh, pay attention to this kind of thing because you might just think it's a mouse here or there or right. something, but they, it can be pretty expensive, right? Chewing through wires and duct work. It cause more damage than you think. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, well, rodent, rodents are uh, <coughs> a, a different animals, so to speak, you know, mm -hmm. we, we want to come take a look at it because there could be uh, entry holes or, or places where they can be getting in. And so we want to be able to uh, be fair in, in our estimates. All right. Very good. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, we appreciate it. There's a number for Zap Pest if you want to check it out. If you just can't take the bugs and the spiders and all that uh, and you just cannot figure out how they're getting in, <laughs> these guys may be able to help you yeah. take care of that.